guess I'll just come back here now and then to uh, gather supplies, maybe rest a bit, drop off my valuable stuff. Okay. That's inconvenient. No. Okay, well, I'm not gonna need these magic mushrooms and these poisonous, poisonous frog skin. Um, seeds I could use later. This I need an oven for, but I will keep it. Frog legs. Shell my kid. Now, I'm gonna save these for special occasions. Orange dye, not yet. Chicken eggs. We'll always use some more chickens. Nope, no chickens. I wonder, can Hey, did this turn around? Oh man, that's freaking magic. That was you, wasn't it? Magic mushroom. So, let's go out. And let's gather some wood. This world isn't going to uh, populate itself. And it's definitely not going to make a resort out of itself. What am I going to need? Well, those are some big trees. So I'm going to need some axes. And the best axes are steel or iron axes. I don't have that. So the next best thing would be... Huh, I guess stone. Let's go make ourselves big. Sticks, and I'm going to need some wooden blocks, and there we go, wooden picks. Now, I'm sure that everyone who's watching already knows how to start off with Minecraft. You get a pickaxe, you get a uh, shovel, you get you get some tools to get started, and you get some uh, better materials like stone, like this, and then you okay, fetch a little more wood. Can I clear my get some of this palm uh, palm tree wood. Just beat it with your hand. Oh, beat it hard. And there we go. Palm wood turns into palm planks. Ooh, I can't wait to try this out. Oh, I, th this has so much potential. So, different trees have different sort of planks. This time I was playing, <laughs> they didn't have that yet, so this is pretty cool. really helps with decorating your buildings. Right, so we got some wood. Let's make some more sticks. Yeah, six sticks. Should be fine for now. And we are going to upgrade. As you can see, we got a wooden pickaxe right here, which is nice and all, but not not all that useful. Now we get some sticks, and we get some cobblestone, and we got a stone. Oh, look, achievement! And this stone one will dig a lot faster, and probably also less a lot longer. So I'm just going to use the shack as my resource uh, point for that. Just gather up a little bit of a uh, little bit of rock. Best way to start out is by uh, using your uh, <coughs> mining pick to gather some uh, stone and really make some uh, wooden, uh, some uh, stone items. You see, wood—it's nice and all, but you can do so much more useful stuff uh, with wood than make tools out of it. When you're starting out with tools, just use stone. It lasts longer, stuff goes faster. And it genuinely is the best thing to do. Alright, get some stone. Let's make some more uh, tools. Oop. <coughs> right. Add one. And that is two stone axes. <coughs> Perhaps it's a good idea to uh, get started on those big trees outside. It seems like. Well, Seems like quite a challenge getting all of these down. So let's put our backs into it. Now, like I said, if you got any ideas or any suggestions on what we should build, let me know in the comments below. The best ideas will be picked, and I will read all the comments which are uh, posted, of course. And if you want to post like um, 
blueprints or like a sketch of uh, what your idea is but uh, by all means uh, leave me a video reply or whatever you do uh, maybe make it in uh, minecraft and uh, show me like that anything is fine you can also just uh, just leave a video and describe what uh, kind of what your idea is what you like to see I'll take that idea and try to uh, make it myself But uh, be creative. We got a whole new world lying open for us. We're going to explore. We're going to find treasure. We're gonna try making this a, uh, a resort. We're gonna make lots of money. With that money, maybe we can build a uh, maybe we can build a town. And uh, who knows? We might uh, build start building some stuff like power plants and farms and stuff like that. Make it a it will make it an inhabited island. Hospitals, some police, um, police around, patrol, to keep everything nice and safe. Ah, I can't reach there. Luckily, I do have some dirt. Oh, dirt! The many uses. Some people like to use gravel for stacking. I don't know. Gravel, I usually just gather it, plunk it in a chest, and whenever I need uh, flint or steel, uh, flint, for uh, flint and steel, I just drop it outside my house. <coughs> and I just start shoveling. Every day I'm shoveling. Shoveling with a, uh, with a spade, of course. And I get myself some flint, and then it goes all the way. <laughs> just gather everything up and plunk it back in a chest. A little higher. There we go. I like these trees. They're so different from the things we've uh, seen in normal Minecraft. I just can't reach it. This wood is a lot more, it's like an orange tint to it. I love orange. I am Dutch and it is our national color. Our football teams play in orange. Unless the enemy, uh, enemy. <laughs> and <laughs> unless the opposite team is uh, like red and then we play in blue. Just to make sure we don't get confused. We don't want to pass the ball and then pass it to the wrong person. No, it would cause problems with everyone. Whoop. Can I reach these? Yes. And talking about football, uh, the World Cup is coming again. At least I think it's the World Cup, fairly sure. Now, <laughs> disclaimer goes here. I am not an expert on football. In fact, I never watch football. I just like to uh, watch the World Cup and the Euro Cup and watch the Dutch play. A little bit of national pride is always good. And uh, the Dutch, we're a pretty stoic people. Like we don't really get out and express ourselves. Like well, like the French, which I just made fun of. I'm sorry again. But during football, whew, seriously, the streets are orange. Everything. There's banners, there's flags, everyone is wearing orange clothes and hats and wigs. That's the only time we really go out and just express our love for the game and for our nation, for our kingdom. I'm not sure, are we a kingdom? We have a queen, but we are being ruled by a, 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 a government, of course. I guess we are. I guess we are a monarchy, kingdom of the Netherlands. I'll look that up. Well, maybe if you know, l uh, let me know in the comments. It's pretty important that I know. I mean, I live here, but the queen doesn't have any real power. She well, she decides. She's the last one who decides what gets done, of course. But if everyone votes in favor, she can't just go and say, "Nah, I don't like that. We're not doing that." 
Well, that's a democracy for you. And I do love my queen. We got some, we got a great royal family. I'm sure pe some people will argue that, but I'm not going to fuss too much about it. Just imagine not having a uh, royal family. You might say, yeah, it's a good thing. I mean, they're just costing us money, right? Well, I'm not completely sure about that because the queen also has like uh, establishes uh, trade contracts with the countries which you could normally not get into, like. Uh, uh, communist uh, countries like China. Uh, once, uh, once the uh, queen visits, she brings along very important businessmen, and they and they bring in uh, new trade for Holland. So those are good things. I'm just going to collect all this dirt and all this wood. And I don't know if you've noticed, but it's getting dark again. Oh, look at that! Covered in lava. That is dangerous. I wonder if it'll spread any more. I I better be careful. Maybe maybe we should move our resort a little, a little that way. I have no idea what that way is. There's the moon. So that means the sun set in the west over there. So that is north. We should, maybe we should move a little north. For now, though. This shack shall be our home. Now, shall I continue to gather wood? Or shall I go to sleep? Yeah, I'm going to go to sleep. Give me a respawn point, should I die? Of course, uh, we don't want to die. We're not expecting it. But you know, if cows are still around, and sheep are still around, Skeletons might still be around. And we don't like those. So I'm just going to break this off a bit. Leave a little opening. I should make some torches. Hmm. Don't have any coal. So I guess I'll leave that for tomorrow. But, um, let's, uh, good night's sleep. Right. No problem. Everything is looking fine and dandy out here. Oh, by the way, you know, noticed coconuts. Let's get us some more woods. I kind of want those coconuts. No coconut, just out of my reach. Well, that's what we use dirt for. Come here, coconut. Did I get it? I did get it. Delicious. I'll just gather this as well. I wonder the branches which fall off this tree. If they will make new um, palm trees. I would guess so. These things go pretty deep. Aha, gotcha. Hey, hey, hello. So, palm tree, you were planted on sand. So, do I plunk you down here? Ah, it looks like it. So, palm trees grow on sand. That's good to know. Seems to <laughs> seems to be plenty of sand around here. What are you? What are you going to give me? I have no idea how to pronounce that, but if I put you over here, nothing will happen. Nevertheless, I'm sure you will make a fine addition to the shack. Ow. Ali hop, hop, hop. Ooh. Well, what does this look like? Pineapple. Now, pineapples are great. You can um, make drinks with them, like piña coladas. By the way, to make a piña colada, mm, I can't show you just yet, and I'll show and I'll tell you why in a second. 
Oh, uh, did I? Do we still have our mug? No, we toss it out. Foolish! What were we thinking? Perfectly good mug. Well, that's no. That's not a real problem. We just make a new one. Bamboo in the shape of a mug. Empty bamboo mug. Who would have thought?